Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize your Ubuntu desktop. Actually, it's not just for Ubuntu, you can do it on anything that runs GNOME. So that is also available. But if you want one click installation script, not just for Ubuntu, for even other operating system, for example, Fedora or anything else, they are all available in the description. You can click uh, the link down below and go from there to, uh, to download the installer script for your specific operating system. Okay. That being said, let us continue with the video. First of all, we need to open the web browser and I'm using Chrome and there is a reason because Firefox does not work here. Since it is a snap version, I need to go for the apt version in order to use it. And you can go for the apt version of Firefox if you want. I'm just trying to make this fast and simple. Okay, first we are going to need uh, GNOME shell extensions. We need to enable some of the extensions from GNOME and uh, we need to go for that so open the extensions website you also need to install the shell integration okay while it is doing this we can install some of the other packages that is required so go for sudo apt install we need gnome tweaks we need uh, other apps like the concave we need fortune and that should do but before we continue we also need to enable the repository uh, in order to continue with the installation so enable them before that we need to install the browser extension and this is the place add to chrome add extension and done now you just need to refresh this page now the problem might not be gone, you will get this error coming up. If it comes up, just head on with the installation of another package that is Chrome Gnome Shell and that should do. Wait for the refreshing of the software cache to continue. While it does this work, we, let us get the font named Mechta because we are going to use it. I don't know if it is Mechta or Mechta, whatever it is, this is for Mechta or Mechta font free download you will get it there is a website called da font which actually provides this also there are some license th stuff if you need it for something else make sure to read those but the download option is available at the right side so click on download and wait for a few minutes i mean few seconds that's all done open the ttf file and click on install done now let us get the gtk theme GTK 3 or 4 themes. Now, I don't particularly remember the theme that I had kept aside. I think the name was Blue Steel. So let us just search for Blue Steel and see what comes up. I think the name was Valerian, if I'm not wrong. Choose the category to be GTK 3 or 4 themes. Here we have this. Click on download and there will be a number of options for download. But what we are looking for is actually mm, the blue steel version. Most of the time, I just cut off these loading parts from my video, but I'm keeping it intentionally this time because many of y'all had reported that most of my videos are becoming extremely fast. So you also get that time to catch up if you think this is going fast. Not most, I mean, some of y'all had commented down. Anyway, just wait for this button to turn blue. Okay. In the meantime, I guess that part is done. So let us go with the installation of these. Yes, continue. Now refresh this page for the GNOME extensions and you will see that the toggle button appears here so that you can install the extension directly from here. Anyway, let's go to extension search. Okay, again, it is causing the same problem. We also need some other things. For example, the blur my shell is required. And uh, this is after a long time that I'm using blur on GNOME because I was surprised today to see how stable blur my shell has become. It was extremely choppy and kind of slow and laggy previously. 
but now it appears to be more improved. Here we have the download. Let us go for the blue steel. This is the zip version and the size is much smaller than the DAW version. So we will go for the zip. Download. Also blur my shell is installed. Now head over to installed extensions in order to access your settings. Here we have the blur my shell settings page. And you will be able to see the amount of blur, brightness and all. We will come back to this part later. First, let us go to application and enable all by default. You will find that all of them are now enabled. I mean, all the windows will be having that blur effect in the background. But you will see there is a problem. I mean, there is a lot of flicker happening in the background. If you see, if you reduce the opacity, there is a lot of flickering happening in the background. But 30 value for me actually caused a lot of problem. So let me increase the opacity back. I mean, whenever I put it across text, it is showing some black flickering lines. So I had to put the version of uh, Sigma value from 30 to something less than 12, which caused the blurring to be more stable. Let's just go to 12. It stabled the blurring, but if I increased it further, it caused the problem. But now I find that even when I stick to like 30 or so, it is not causing any problem. And also you need to make a little bit of change here. If you can see, there are a lot of flickering still going on in the background. So just change the hack level to oh, no artifact. And this makes everything very much smooth. But there is a problem here. You don't like the browser to look like transparent, right? Right. When you're watching videos, it will cause a problem. So if we can add the window and blacklist it so that it does not create such problems further. Anyway, you can see that the window now does not have the blur in the background. Now we need to extract this theme inside the dot themes directory. Press Ctrl H in order to reveal the hidden files. Ctrl Shift N will form a new folder. Just write the name as uh, dot themes. We also need another new folder with the name as dot icons inside the home directory in order to install the icons and extract the Valerian blue steel version. Now open the tweaks app and apply the theme. That's it. This is how it will look like. Looks good. Now we also need some icon pack. So head over to full icon themes. Here are some icon packs available. So go to ratings in order to get the best rated icons at the top. But uh, what I'm planning for is actually uh, the panel needs to be converted to a dock. So let's go to settings page and do the changes that are required. So go to appearance and we can change it from here and change the location to the bottom if required but I will keep it at the side. Let me just reduce the icon size. Auto hide dock can be enabled so that whenever we move a window on the dock it hides itself. Nice. Look how responsive it is still after enabling the blur in GNOME. So it has improved up to a great extent. For the next step, let us go for the wallpaper. Now I have the wallpaper available inside a shared directory. It is not showing up here, so I need to do some changes from the settings. And then again, I will get back to you. So I don't know if you can see the changes I'm doing. Just disable the shared folder and then again enable it. it I, I don't know if there is a weird glitch, I guess, which causes this problem. But whenever I do that, it works. Okay, here we have the folder named Retro. I'm going to use this wallpaper as the default and it goes with the theming. I mean, it looks good. Okay, now we can go for choosing the icon pack. But before that, let us do some edits in the terminal. Uh, head over to Preferences. You can go to Profiles, Colors and choose the transparency as required. So you can increase the transparency or decrease it further uh, to make it look better. Now we need a con key that I already have here. 
let's head over to the same place where I got the wallpaper from and we're going to use this one just copy it paste it inside at least like home right click open in terminal okay now we just need to run the concave inside so ls we have already moved inside the folder of gradient l4k and run the grad.conf first and then we will go for the port.com so it is just easy go for uh, conkey config dot slash grad dot conf let us see if it runs properly yeah great so you can do one thing you can put and just after that in order to keep the terminal window i mean the conkey running and for the next one we need to go for port i guess yeah port actually it's nothing but just uh fortune so we'll get some quotes here and some other stuff it's pretty funny and interesting anyway mm, let's close this done now i would like to do some edits before i put it up as a final first of all let us remove the extra color that is available here in time you see you will get some problems in the text editor i think the best case in such a problem would be to just change your this thing to cobalt cobalt matches with the theme up to some extent and at the same time does not cause some weird viewing issue okay let us remove the color extra color that is available remove this and that should be good done now let's run the same thing again there we go also let us run okay looks good now let us think about the icons i would personally prefer to use core icons because they are just good they go with anything and everything but i am thinking to use something else for this one uh, because it has been always like cora 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 most of the time so but other icon packs i don't really find anything interesting out of them so okay let us stick to cora for the last and final time later or we can do one thing we can do a uh, short project where i create my own icon pack that will be interesting also anyway we'll figure it out later let us now download cora icons in order to apply them let's click on download the version of cora select the cora original version in order to get the blue icons but if you need some other icons for the files generally for the files right yellow gray green or whatever go for those also this theme actually goes quite well with some other wallpapers that i have level if you want to get this wallpaper you can go and check in the description below below all the links are available you can get the hd version of this wallpaper but if you want the 4k or the higher version of these you can definitely check on patreon and help me by supporting us with a small fee and that goes a long way to support me for college and make help me bring better content anyway let us open the cora folder and head over to dot icons over here and extract all of them great the next step is very simple open tweaks go to appearance and select the icon from here there we have it cora this is how it looks. I think it looks really good for the background theming. The blue icons and the blue background goes well. But if you want something else, some other colors for the background, we have some other purple magic version of the same wallpaper. Um, uh, not same wallpaper, some different wallpaper. This is the purple magic. You can apply this also. It looks quite well and goes with the current theming too. So set it as a wallpaper and this is how it looks like but in such a case you see this 
becomes a problem. So there is another con key for the same thing. You can also apply that or you can use a separate wallpaper for example this one. This also goes quite, quite well. And then you have all these colorful wallpapers. Uh, they are also available. This just blows out. So let's use this. If you want a lot of colors you can go for these if you want to like stick to the wallpaper that i was using you can go for that there are also some other wallpapers for the same uh retro futuristic vibe kind of thing that appears so you can also go for some other versions for example this one and for this version you have a separate con key this needs to be applied there is a shell theme available let's go to tweaks and see how the shell theme holds up here we have the shell theme i think the default version is looks a little bit better but also there's another option you can go for i think it is lavanda yeah lavanda c this is the theme you can also go for this. This goes quite well with the background also. I mean the general theme that I'm talking about. That also quite goes quite well. Anyway, let's download and check it out. So we are going for the dark version. So mm, dot themes. Paste it here. And for changing, we need to restart. Gnome tweaks. So restart tweaks and you will find the changes available. You can change the theming to Lavanda Dark, which makes it look like this. Goes quite well. It reduces the blue hue over the entire system to make it look like this. It uses the analogous color green more, which also is appealing to the eye. Anyway, if you want to use the shell, the same thing can be used for the shell and it goes quite well. As you can see so yeah this is how it looks like there are two possible options that I showed you you can go for mm. one of them is this and you can also combine the two of them that also goes quite well another the one is this this has a little a lesser amount of color available on the front part I mean it is not bluish it is more on the neutral side but if you want to have a bluish thing going on you can go for the blue steel version it also goes quite well so uh, that's all for this video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one